We walked. We walked with chains around our necks as if we were dogs and shackles around our wrists and ankles. The chains are so tight. My hands and feet bleed. My skin is raw and peeled. The woman who walked in front of me couldn't go any further, so she fell. She fell, and a man came towards her and pulled out his whip and hit her with it. She yelled out as if the pain was excruciating. I could still see the tears falling from her eyes. Then she got up and limped towards this huge ship that seemed to have been waiting for us. This boat that I now stand on. When I boarded this boat, Yamale was still in my belly. She was still in my belly and those men still raped me and did other things to me. For days, I could feel the sharp pain in between my thighs. Days passed and my baby was born. I couldn't produce milk. All I asked was for food for my baby and he came towards me and snatched her out of my arms as if she was a rag doll and threw her in the water. At least she's not here for those white men. Like, no. She's not here and neither are the others who either threw themselves overboard or who were thrown overboard. They're not here for those white men. Left. They all seem to be calling for me from beneath the sea. I can hear Yamale calling out for me. I want to see and be a part of their newfound liberty. So I'll jump. I'll jump into the sea. And once again, I, I am free. <laughs> 